Hello everyone, my name is Sanchit, SC coordinator at ISA Visit. In this video, we will make an interesting project named Fetching Timestamp from NTP Server on ESP32 Microcontroller. Not only that, but we will display the current time in 7 segment display and set and will set an alarm function with the help of buzzer. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So talking about ESP32, it is a microcontroller same as Arduino, but ESP32 is integrated with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. For this project, we will be using our own ISA Vezet customized Arduino style ESP32 and IO shield for using 7 segment and buzzer. For working with ESP32, we need some IDE to write and upload the code. So we will use Arduino IDE for the same. So open your browser and write Arduino IDE download and press enter. Open the first link and you would get all the download option. So as per your OS, you select the download option and click on just download. After downloading, install it. After installing IDE, you need to set up ESP32 board manager in it. Because by default, Arduino IDE will not recognize the ESP32 board. To set up this thing easily, I am providing the link in the description for the same. So as the project name suggests, we will fetch current time of any country from NTP server, that is network time protocol server. For easy understanding, we will try to bring output part by part. We need to keep in mind the four steps that we want to do. First step will be to set up Wi-Fi function in ESP32. And uh, so we need to set two constant SSID and password for existing network where we need to establish network for our ESP32. Second step will be to address and config NTP server. Here we have to use GMT offset and daylight offset function to manipulate between time zones. Third step is to display time in seven segment display. For displaying characters, we will use TM1650 library in the code. And last but not the least, we will perform an alarm function for the same. So here in Arduino IDE, I am using Wi-Fi dot edge. It provides ESP32 specific Wi-Fi method to connect to network. Likewise, ESP32 time dot edge and time dot edge use for NTP server synchronization. Along with that, I am using wire dot edge for allowing communication with I2C devices and TM1650 dot edge library for seven segment display. Also, I am assigning a int variable name buzzer at pin 16. Now it's time to set up Wi-Fi credentials so that my microcontroller can establish a connection with the network. To set up NTP server, you need to define NTP server GMT offset daylight offset variables to get time from NTP server. Here we will request the time from pool.ntp.org. The GMT offset variable defines the offset in seconds between your time zone and GMT. We will uh, we live in India, so the time offset is 530 hours. We change the time variable to match our time zone. The daylight offset variable defines the offset in seconds for daylight saving time. It is generally has one hour that correspond to 3600 seconds. Mostly western countries consider daylight offset. Note that here I am not declaring GMT and daylight variables now. We will use serial monitor for giving input to these variables. In void setup. 
we initialize serial communication and baud rate 115200 to print results in serial monitor along with that we use wire.begin and d.end function to initialize the wire library and tm1650 and for the buzzer pin mode is used for configuring specific pins to behave as input or output function so pin 16 will act as output also in void setup we are connecting the wi-fi by providing ssid and password here as we decided to give input for gmt offset and daylight offset in serial monitor we use serial dot parse end to read integer as input from serial receive buffer and to store it in other variable that is in gmt offset underscore sec here serial dot available is used to check available characters for reading from the serial port after that once esp is connected to the network we use config time function to get date and time in that function we create time structure uh, called struct tm uh, in that it contains time info that contains all details about the time get local time function is used to transmit a request packet to the ntp server and parse the timestamp into readable format at the end we disconnect the wi-fi after sending request packets to the ntp server in void loop i am passing a command struct pm equal to rtc dot get time struct here structm passing is data to the rtc and further writing serial dot print ln and time info here and gives the memory address to the variable and we are printing it in the serial monitor and by this we complete fetching timestamp from the ntp server but the time that we are fetching through the server should be displayed in seven segment led so we need to set seven segment display code and link that with the time info here i am defining a care time hm of five here five means that there are five bytes of data afterwards uh, i am using a, a strip time function so that it, uh, it so it is a function in c which is used to format date and time it comes under a header file time.h which also contains a structure named structtm which is used to hold time and date so in bracket we have added a char variable time hm max size 6 percent h percent m the format for hours and minute and time info further i am giving a command d dot display on for initializing the seven segment and passing a command of uh, display string time hm and using set dot function to trigger a dp uh, pin further we are using sprintf function it stands for sprint uh, string print in programming language it is a file handling function that is used to send formatted output to the string instead of printing on console sprintf function stores the output on char buffer that is specified in sprintf here percent u converts a unsigned int or a integer to decimal representation by this we have completed with our third step moving towards the fourth step we need to set alarm function so we need to access time parameters like hours and minute from struct tm time info and need to store that in another integer so we have taken my underscore r my underscore minute and my underscore second from time info dot tm r minute and second respectively further i have placed if statement that when my r 
minute and seconds are equal to my desired time the buzzer would get on so in to make connections so in io board and esp32 i will connect pin number 16 to io board pin buzzer so that is how we can perform alarm function So it's time to compile our code and upload it in the ESP32. So click here to compile. After compiling, upload. So after compiling, open serial monitor and you can see Wi-Fi is connected to our ESP32. Here comes our question, enter country UTC in second. So let's try for India, which is 530 hours. I will convert and add the 530 hours time into second and press enter. Next question is enter daylight offset. So India does not follow daylight offset. So I will write zero and press enter so you can you can see that um, you get the current date and time displayed in serial monitor likewise we can fetch time of any country that we want let us fetch timestamp of germany so i will open my serial monitor again and press reset button so it will try to connect my wi-fi again Yes, uh, it has connected my Wi-Fi again. So, Germany GMT is uh, plus two hours. So, I will convert in the seconds. Uh, it will be 7200. Uh, Germany usually considers the daylight offset. So, it should be 3600. That is one hour and enter yep so you can see i got the timestamp of germany also you can see the current time in is displaying in the seven segment it is in rr minute minute format that is hhmm format as i have three digit seven segment display so it is featuring in hhm format also here in alarm function i have selected an alarm at 1 hour 53 minutes as uh, so at specified time the buzzer will get on and will start buzzing for three seconds we have completed our project task so if you have any doubt do comment below the source code esp32 and io board pinouts are given below in the description box for more such interesting videos subscribe to our isa visit youtube channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates thank you